Hey guys, welcome to another theory of computation tutorial. Today we'll be looking at some more examples of NFA that is non-deterministic finite example. So what are we going to learn? First we'll look at example number three of NFA and example number four. So let's get started with example number three. Construct a NFA that is non-deterministic finite automata that accepts all string over the language 0, 1 ending with 101. Okay, so we have to accept all the strings that are ending with 101. So anything can be there in the starting, but it should always end with 101. Okay, so let's say our starting state is A. Then from here we get 1. Then we get go to state B and we get 0. And we reach state C. Over here we get 1 and we reach state D. And D is our final state. Okay, now anything ending with 101. So in the beginning it can be either 0 or 1. We are okay with this. So this is our NFA. Now let's, let's look at the transition table. So let's say we are in state A, we get 0, we go to state A itself, correct? What about 1? We get input 1, we will go to either state A or state B. What about state B? In here we get input 0, we go to state C, but we have not mentioned anything for input 1. That is because you don't have to mention the trap state or null state in our NFA. Okay. What about state C? You can input 0, but you don't have to mention the null state over here. Okay, so over here, when we give input 1, we reach state D. And in state D, since it's the last state, we have not mentioned what happens when we give an input. Okay, so this is the transition table for NFA. Now let's look at an example. Let's say we'll uh, insert a string like 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Okay, now let's say we are in state A. Okay, we are in state A. We get input 1. So we can either go to state A itself or state B. Okay. We are in state A or state B. Okay. Now again we get 0 over here. Where will we go? So in state A if we get 0, we are still in state A itself. Yes. We get 0, we are in state A. But if you are in state B and you get input 0, then we reach state C. Okay. So we have seen what happens when you insert 1, then we have covered 0. Next is 1. So over here if we input 1, we will again go to either state A or state B. Okay, state A and state B. When we give input 1. But in state C, if we give input 1, then we reach state D. Okay. Yeah. Now next is 0. So in state A, we get 0. We are in state A itself. In state B, if we give input 0, we go to state C. And in state D, if you input 0, then we are reaching nowhere because it's still empty. So we have not mentioned anything over here. Correct. So we are in state D only over here. Okay. Now we have seen 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. Now last one is 1. Okay. Now you are in state, uh, now we have to insert the last one over here. So you are in state A, you get input 1. Again, you go to two states that is A and B. A and B. Okay. What about state C? If you get input 1, you reach state D. Correct? And over here, we can't, since this is an empty state. Okay. So now, out of these three states, that is the final state, what A, B, and D. Is there any one final state? Yes. D is the final state. That's why this string is accepted. So this is how we construct an NFA that accepts all the strings over the language 0, 1, ending with 1, 0, 1. Okay. Now let's look at the next example, NFA example number 4. Construct a NFA accepting all strings with 1011 as a substring in it. Okay, so the solution is like this. First, let's start with starting state A. Over here, we get input 1, we go to state B. Over here, we get input 0, we go to state C. Over here, we get input 1, we go to state D. And in state D, if we get input 1, we go to state E. And let's make it our final state. So construct an NFA accepting all strings with 1011 as a substring. So anything in the beginning, anything in the end is fine as long as 1011 is a substring of the entire string. So let's say in the starting we can accept 0 and 1 and in the end also we can accept 0, 1. So let's look at the transition table. So in state A you get input 0, you go to state A itself. Correct? But you get input 1, you go to state A and state B. Correct? Then in state B, you get input 0, you go to state C. And input 1, we have not mentioned because this is an NFA. You don't have to mention for every input what happens. So it is going nowhere. Okay. What about state C? If you get input 0, we have not mentioned anything because you don't have to mention the dead state over here. Okay. Or empty state. What happens when you get input 1? We go to state D. In state D, you get input 0. We have not mentioned because 
you don't have to mention the empty state and you get input one you go to state e and in state e you get zero or one we are still in state e itself so this is how we construct the nfa for accepting all the strings with 1011 as a substring okay so that's it for today guys if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment section below thank you very much